obviously could not show the whole movie. Those two clips were just a quick background for the rest of my sermon. Here's a quick summary of the other important parts you should know. The Lorax magically appears with lightning from a cut down tree, which he's not happy about. He takes it up with the Wunzler and they make a deal that he will not cut down any more trees. As you can tell, that promise is broken. After the last tree falls and all the animals have left, Lorax lifts his tail and ascends into the sky, similar to how he returned, leaving behind only a stone with the word unless written on it. Jesus was sent to this earth to spread the word of God and to save us from our sins. This first teaching can teach us a lot about how to live our lives according to Jesus. The scene begins with the Lorax asking the Lancer if he had found a way to fill the void or if he still needs more. After getting a taste of money and power, he continues to desire more and more. That is the same with people. Always striving to have more money or get more stuff to make us happy. As my mother always says, store up your treasures in heaven. What you own on earth does not matter when you're dead, only your relationships with others and God. He is the only one who can fill our void in our lives. We cannot let our happiness get clouded because we are focused on material objects. Next, the Wunzler tells the Lorax if he has a problem with his actions, he should use his quote-unquote powers to stop him. Once again, the Lorax explains this is not how it works, and the Wunzler begins accusing him of being a fraud. We see this many places in the Bible, from the devil's temptation to the doubting Pharisees and the mockers at the crucifixion. Just as the Wunzler missed the Lorax's dramatic appearance, the doubters may have simply missed these miracles, but even if they had seen them, they would have been blind to them because their hearts were not open to it. Just like the people who can always find negative in every situation, the people are always finding reason Jesus was fake. Now we get to the pinnacle point in the plot. The one sir says, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. Ted's mission is to plant a seed and to bring back a community love of trees. As Christians, we are called to do the same. We need to go out and plant the seeds of God's love in others. While looking up scripture verses to go with my sermon, I found the quote, Keep on sowing your seed, for you never know which will grow. Perhaps it all will. This perfectly applies to how we should treat the love of God. The average person meets 10,000 people in a lifetime. That is a lot of people. You will never be able to know every single person whose life you have impacted. We should be showing the love of God to every person we meet to help them grow in God. The final scene in the movie is a demonstration of God's love. Trees have started sprouting everywhere, and the wildlife is even returning. Then, the Lorax comes back, and even after all the awful the Wensler did, tells him he did good. We sin every day, but God forgives us. However, we are not just forgiven from our sins, but we are given a fresh light for, to begin a new life. This shows the joy and peace people can feel once reconciling with God after making a bad decision. Hebrews 8, verse 12 says, for I will forgive the wicked and remember their sins no more. God sent his son to forgive our sins and grant us eternal life. We should spread the message of God's love so everyone can receive it. Go out and plant God's seed in others' hearts so everyone can grow in God's love. Amen.